There he is, Kevin Corgan, uh, 22 years later. Um, <clears throat> That's the third time I've seen the film. In your life? Sorry? In your whole life? Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, what it was like watching it tonight, and we'll talk about some stuff. Um, it occurred to me that you're, you're working with Gallo both as uh, a scene partner and then also as, you know, he's directing you, right? And there's, there's um, he's such a determined, he's such a notoriously determined director and very determined, he's got an idea for what he's gonna do. It's like, he doesn't want you to do your best, he wants to do it, you know, do it right, right? Um, so were you able to separate the, the, the director and the character? when you worked with him, or, or was it collapsed? It's collapsed. <laughs> because Colla I noticed, Collapse is a good word to use. Well, I noticed also that, you know, and you had, you've, I've heard some stories from Kevin over the years, and they're great stories, and we're gonna get to them, but um, like in the prison scene where he's going over the material with you, I noticed that you're, you're giving him a lot in the scene. Like, you're really there, right? Like, and you've told me that, that you had a hard time with the character because you didn't know how to like be at a distance from Rocky or Goon or like you were like really in him, right? I guess so. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I thought it was like, uh, I, I didn't want to play the part. Yeah. How did you get involved? <coughs> he called me. Yeah. We, we, had, we had met a year before the film. We met at the Sundance Film Festival. And Actually, we we met in uh, uh, like I was telling you before. We have a mutual friend who was in the hospital in around 1993, and we met in her room. And um, and then about uh, three or four years later, we met at the Sundance Festival. And I uh, and he saw something I was in at that time. I, I it might have been walking and talking. And he 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 said, "You're you're my favorite actor. I, I have a I, I have a movie that I want you to uh, I want you to be in. We're gonna play brothers." And um, did you know who he was? Like, did you like was he a, a figure to you at all? As a guy who could make a movie? No, he was just the guy that I met through my friend in the hospital. Right. Uh, I mean, I knew he was an actor, but the, the, the only real performance I was familiar with was the one he gave in my friend's hospital room. Right. Because he was telling stories and he was captivating. Uh, and, uh, and he was, he, he didn't remember me from that, from, right. from the hospital. Right. And I finally told him, well, you know, we've met before through, through uh, Bianca. Bianca, uh, at, at the hospital that time, he that's you, that's you. You're you're that kid. You're you're that that kid in the in the uh, with Bianca in the room that time. Oh man, that's that's you. You're really that guy. Um, and then he says, "Well, we 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 have to work together. I have the script." And, and I said, "Sure." And he was you know putting his arm around me and everyone who walked by goes, "Look, don't you think we could be brothers? We we look like brothers, don't we?" And um, a, a a year went by. I finally I heard from him. And he said he wanted to send me the script, and, and I, I, I got it, and there was no brother in it. There was that character. Right. <laughs> and I, I had a really, like, a sinking feeling that that's the part that he wanted me to do. And I was right. And, uh, and he, uh, and I, 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 said, I, don't, I, I was uncomfortable with the, the idea. And, I asked if I could play the gangster instead, the Mickey Rourke part. And he said, yeah, I, I could see how you would be attracted to that role. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that guy has to be like someone really tough, like someone who could, who could beat me up or, you know, you know uh, um, you're, you're, you're goon, you, you have to play goon. You're, you're, you're the, you're, you are goon. <laughs> You, you, no one else can play the part but you. 
And so then you, you know, you're working with them. Did you rehearse with them, or did you just, did you just show up for the, the work? I, we just, I just showed up, and, um, and he, he told me, I, I mean, I kept refusing him, and, and, um, uh, no, and what do you mean by refusing him? I, I turned him down. I passed on the, on the part. I said, right. I'm, I'm not your guy. Right. And the whole thing went away. Okay. It came back. It, it, it came back because I went sort of crawling back. Um, at, um, I don't know if I should go into the whole thing. It's, 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 I, I, I called him up. I was, I was drunk. And um, I had just lost the uh, uh, Independent Spirit Award to right. Benicio Del Toro. Right. And I told Vincent all of this on the phone. Well, you walked from Santa Monica to Beverly Hills. I, I walked from the big tent. Um, I walked as far as I could before. It was just too hot. And, right. and I, I got a cab the rest of the way to the hotel. Oh, okay. And, um, and uh, I was really drunk. And I, 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 and I was really upset. I was having a, like a, a kind of a, a collapse uh, emotionally. And I, 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 needed, I needed some immediate... Uh, like validation, I needed right. an immediate shot of, of encouragement, and I called him, and I told him the whole story, and he was like, "Wait, where are you? What are you? What are you doing right now? Who did you? What? Who, what? Who did you lose to, or something?" And I said, "Benicio del Toro." It was like Johnny Fontaine in The Godfather, and, and, he, and he's like, who, "What did he win for?" And I said, "For for Basquiat." He goes, "Yeah, he he won for playing me." <clears throat> Which was a coincidence, and I said, "Well, listen, I, I think I want to be in your movie." Right. And he goes, "Yo, you want to be in the movie? You want to be in my movie now?" <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "Well, I gave the part to someone else." And um, he goes, "But listen, I'm gonna get it back." This is a true story. I he he he, uh, he goes, "I'll call the guy. I'll tell him, you know." That uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll make it happen. I'll make it work. Whatever, however he. he Do you know who that was? I don't know, and I and you know maybe maybe it was nobody, you know. But I don't know. So you show up on set. So gonna, all that you know. Yeah, let's get you to, that. That kind of set. sets the tone for my trip to Buffalo. Right. And that, but now at this point, I'm feeling like it's just uh, um, like a, a pact with Satan, you know, or and. Right. Um, there was a reason I didn't want to play the part, you know. I, like he, he said, you know, you're the only guy, you're the only person who can, who can play this part. You are this guy, and uh, my point, my whole f feeling was like, I, I know that, and you know that, but I don't want anybody else to know that. <laughs> and I don't want to play the part. I don't want to. I just, I know I can do it, but I don't want. I just can't. Uh, but, th but then I, then I was willing to do it. Uh, after all the other stuff, and and when I got to uh, Buffalo, I got uh, really bombed the night before. I was supposed to do all those scenes in the bedroom on the phone, and and he did tell me that I could play the part however I wanted. He goes, I just want you to be in the movie. You can play him like a drunk. So I, that's what I was gonna do. Um, and we, we did, we, 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 we kind of did a, a dry run of the scene, and then he said, hold on, we need time. We need about 20 minutes. And then he took me to his trailer uh, and, and, and got, got us in a zone. I, 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 he, it was like he coaxed, it was like he, he got me into a, a you know, uh, into the into the state that I was in, uh, I, which was uh, I think I, I was avoiding the, the the vulnerability of the scene. And basically, what he did was that he reset the dynamic between us, so that I was really listening to him, and we were really communicating. It was the most method kind of acting that I've ever done. He and and he, and it was uh, uh when when we were about two takes into the 
into the scene, I, I, I was really, really, um, I mean, he, he, he was, he did my makeup himself. He didn't, he didn't like what uh, Gucci had done. Gucci, I can't remember her last name. Uh, that was her first name, Gucci. She, she did my makeup and he says, no, 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 he's gotta look, he looks too good here. Give me that stuff. He took her makeup bag and he goes, you gotta, do you have any like kind of enamel we can put on his teeth? He's like, we have to make him ugly. He's like, look, look at him now. He's, he's trying to make all the girls feel sorry for him. I can tell he's been working this technique his whole life. You gotta make him mess up his hair. And, and uh, he just got me, uh, you know, he just put his hands on me and molded me into the, the shape that he wanted. And um, a after the second take, I asked, the assistant director if I could talk to Vincent and he came over and sat next to me on the bed um, and I asked him like can I can I just can I do something different can I can I just I, I just I'm not I don't know about I don't know about this I, I just can I be different can I just be different and he was he just went you can't be different um. <laughs> well, you told me also he started to call you goon. Yeah, when we were in his when we were in his dressing room, he was uh, he was doing some weird thing where he he was talking over me. I I was trying to you know kind of uh, analyze the scene and intellectualize, and he just started to right over whatever I was saying. He was going goon. 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 And he, 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 he kind of, he, co he and I, I, I really started to feel, you know, just very, uh, um, you know, he, he, he was, uh, you know, I, 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 I feel like, you know, I, I, that, that, that he and I kind of understood each other in a, very primal gut level way, and when he was doing that, it, it had a strange effect on me. It was very a, a f kind of hypnotizing, and um, you it, liked it, yeah. It just it, it was like this. It was like this is real. This is this is real actor stuff. This is yeah. like we're, we're doing, you know. I felt like this is, uh, you know, I gotta. I have to give in to this process because he's really, he's not. He's. Um, you know he's he's serious about what he's doing, and he believes that I'm a serious actor. Right, right. And Do you remember which scene you did first in the movie? Was he there as a director or an actor? Because when you're in the bedroom there, he's on the phone with you, and I'm wondering is he there in the room with you? Yeah, he's 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 just you know five feet away. Right, doing he, the lines, doing all all the stuff that he was on the on the uh, on the right. phone. He did it right there in the room. Okay, because that's yeah. And then that prison scene. Do you remember chronologically when that was? There were there was a, about two weeks in between uh, the scenes in the bedroom and the scene in the jail. And um, so you probably went home. I went home and I worked with Hal Hartley on Henry Fool, nice. and I, I let him cut my hair. And uh, when I got back to Buffalo, I. Uh, I you got that hat on. I had that. That's why I was wearing the hat. Nah, was he furious? Yeah, he was, but he didn't. He didn't show uh, outright fury to me. <laughs> he he um, he he was very forgiving, you know, to me, to me, uh, 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 because the the rest of the time he was very. Uh, I mean, he he ran the set like he was um, desperate to get it right. You know, right, he, was, right. he was the only one who knew how the movie looked and how it should be, and he didn't really trust anyone else to, to like I said, with the makeup, he he had to do it himself. You know, when the when uh, the lining up the shots, he, he was like, no, it's got to be. He, he would change the lights. He would do. He's a maniac. Yeah, some people are familiar that that Kirsten Dunst was going to do the movie and he fired her. Um, some people know that story. I didn't know that story, really. <laughs> but I, I it, 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 it was... I was really struck by how great Christina Ricci is in the movie. And she's just a movie star, 
uh, being a movie star in those scenes with him, and it's just such a great performance. What was it like watching her tonight? She was great. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, um, she's a serious, she's a pro also, you know, and, and just very, uh, you know, uh, she, I, I feel like she and I had a similar uh, job in, in, you know, sort of making his character sympathetic and um you know she found the truth in it and uh um you know i i don't, I don't know if they remain if they have any remaining kind of relationship uh, i i i but i i've kept in touch with him right we are going to open it up because i know that people want to ask kevin questions about um the movie um he did fire Kirsten Dunst because she called her agent uh, and he felt like that was a betrayal, uh, just the fact that she would reach out to her agent about the movie. Yeah, he didn't have a good relationship with uh, agents and the, he, he, he... Just really thought everyone was out to get him. Uh, but the movie is phenomenal, of course. Um, does anyone else want to, do you want to ask Kevin a question about? Rocky. Oh, did you, was Rocky your idea? No. That was his idea? Yeah. Okay. Big Stallone fan. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm just wondering, uh, with the, uh, not wearing any pants, was that good since it was your decision? Just, you know, not, I'm not going to wear pants. To not wear pants. Was that Kevin or Vincent's decision? It was Vincent's. Okay, yeah, I figured as much. Yeah. yeah. And you no, weren't I, that thrilled about it, right? It was, it was difficult. Yeah. It was, it was. I, I was embarrassed. I was like, I think your body looks pretty good in the movie, frankly. <laughs> but that's just aging, you know, it changes your perspective on that. I was like, yeah, Kevin looks pretty good. Well, it felt, it, it, it felt artistic in a way that no f acting job had felt before. Yeah. You know, it was, um, my, my mother's an artist and she belongs to the Art Students League on 57th Street. And I, I used to go with her too to watch her do, uh, you know, life drawing classes and, and, and there would be, you know, naked models in the, in the place and you'd smell the paint and you'd look at the people modeling and it's like, how do they, how do they do that? Um, and I, 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 I kind of felt like this is how they do it. <laughs> this is it, I'm doing it now in front of a camera. Now did this and trial? And Justin Gallo was, you know, doing his, and it was like, did you come out of that movie a different actor? No, I, I uh, well, it, it, it was a, my, my interaction with the whole thing was, it, it took me a while to, like I, it, it played at that Sundance in, in 2000, I mean uh, 1998. And um, it's the only time that I've had a film at Sundance and didn't go. Um, I don't remember what was going on that year, but I, I think I probably just didn't want to f face it. You had Ill Town around then too, but was that ninety? That was um, bef that was before uh, Buffalo '66. Right. That was shot. That was shot in 1995 and didn't oh. didn't come out or was, bad. wasn't seen until 1998. But yes. Any, any plans for a sequel? <laughs> a sequel to this? <laughs> Buffalo. It's a math test. Oh six. <laughs> Did you have a question? Uh, well, the the thing with the pants, it's got so many iconic images throughout the whole thing, and you're one of them like getting to have underwear and a belly. And I guess we know how you feel about that, but you did participate in that. And there's just so many great images in this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of iconic stuff. Yes, sir. Um, many years ago, I read an article or an interview um, that, because you're not credited in the movie, I don't think, and the article went under that. So I, I can't remember, and I don't think I can find it. Yeah, I, um, my my uh, agent at the time was 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 not uh, a, a fan of Vincent. 
you know, uh, made, I, 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 it's possible that the guy who also represented uh, Kirsten Dunst, I, I, I don't know. He, he, he was a guy that I'd met at a, a smaller agency and then he got a job at CAA and took me with him. That was where she was at too. And so he might have, I know he, he represented Liv uh, Tyler. He represented a few actors that I, I had no idea that he was, uh, you know, who his other clients were until uh, uh, until after we were, were no longer working together. I was like, he were, fucking, no wonder he had no time for me, you know? Um, except for... Um, Digression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he... Uh, he got a call from this production. They had locked the picture, and they needed to, to lock the credits. And um, uh, he, I'd, I'd kind of forgotten that I'd worked on the movie. And um, I, I guess in our discussion, he could tell that I was kind of conflicted about the whole thing. Well, he, he tried to, he says, if you don't want to work on this movie, I can get you out of it. And I said, no, I, I, I told, I gave Vincent my, my word that I would, I, I can't, I'm not going to back out of it, I'm going to do it. And he goes, well, you don't have to have your name in the credits. He, he was eager to, um, to, um, to, to do something like that, you know. If I well, if I can't get you out of the movie, I'll get you. I'll get. I'll, you, you don't have to have your name in the credits, you know. He was the, this, and and um, I guess I, I I said, oh okay, all right. And and then months later, when they were locking picture, I got a call from Vincent. Uh, um, he had he had read the the deal and and that I had made with my agent, however many months earlier. And, he he was like, you know, what, what is this? You 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 said it says here that you're not going to have your name in the credits, uh, and and I I um um I guess the the the, the way I, I looked at it was that that was going to be my sort of abstract contribution to the film. In addition to the performance, I would just not be credited. <laughs> um, and then he, 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 it's like, uh, it's, it's, yeah, that's me. People would see the film and wonder. And it was like, yeah, that is me. Just like I said, I just like I said, I said, that's, that's not something I wanted anyone else to know, but now the whole fucking world can know. Now, do you regret <laughs> that or do you think, do you, do you like how that worked out, the credits thing? I like how it worked out. I regret that it, that it hurt Vincent's feelings, you know, right. uh, um, and, um, uh, but you know, I, I I was, you know, he, he uh, we we admired each other. You know, right. it, it was like you know he he was like I said he was very forgiving. He goes, okay, you're a genius. <laughs> right. You you know you want to. You well, know. he can't. You know, like uh, the scene in the at the end that Kevin and I were talking about at the where he buys the cookie and the hot chocolate. He's so kind of manic and he's like, says, go easy, you know. And then he's every. It's such an important thing to him in the scene. And you you start to wonder if he's like that as a director, where everything is like he's going bananas over everything. Well, I'd say a little bit, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, he 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 drove himself to to work every day. You know, he didn't. Uh, he he had his own car and Cadillac. Uh, yeah, I think it was actually, uh, and. Uh, I, I I rode with him once. We were going from one location to another, uh, and uh, he, he 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 kind of expressed that you know he did I don't like anyone driving me. I'll drive myself. Or, you know he was a, right. a, 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 a a control freak in the in the in the best sense of the in the best sense. Nick Offerman refuses to be driven. Little piece of trivia. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, um, I'm a big fan of Buffalo '66. I recently watched the movie with Patton Oswalt that you starred in, called The Fan, and I find a lot of similarities between those two films. I'm just curious: were there any meetings or any kind of behind the scenes where the staff, the crew, were instructed to watch Buffalo '66? So they get a better feel for how they should produce the fan. Uh, 
yeah, a big fan. I, I don't I don't know about that. I, I I I feel the same way. I feel that there are similarities between the movie, the two films, but but I I, I don't know that it was uh, at all intentional. I'm pr I'm almost positive that Robert Siegel, who made Big Fan, was a, a, a fan of Buffalo '66. Right. Maybe there was an influence, but we never talked about it. But I I was it it it. it uh, especially after seeing the big fan finished, it, it it didn't occur to me really while we were shooting. Yeah, this is kind of like this is a little bit like. Actually, it did it did occur to me. I I I I, I remember not wanting to be the friend again. Um, and I I said that to Robert Siegel. And then he told me that Patton Oswalt was playing the, the guy. And I was like, oh, 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 okay. I'll be his friend. <laughs> he wasn't abusive toward you, Siegel? N no, I, if anything, I was, I was abusive. Oh, good. That's good. Um, yes? I'm sorry? I saw it at the uh, New Directors, New Films uh, f uh, Festival at, at uh, Museum of Modern Art. 1999. 98. 98, sorry. Um, um, uh, then I watched it on a VHS tape in 2000 <laughs> and tonight. Kevin had the script in his apartment for many years and I remember wanting to steal that script and I never did. And I regret not stealing it because I don't know where is it now. I, you know, I, I lost track of it for a, a, a long time, and I thought you did steal it. <laughs> I thought Bob must have taken it. Thank you. And then I found it recently. Um, I have a gummo script that you gave me. Uh, that's probably worth money. It's like it's beautiful. So I'm just a little off track, but y'all, I have a gummo script. <laughs> and I know you, you, they asked you, I know you were gonna, did you try out for that? I don't know, what's the word? For gummo? Yeah. No. You <laughs> no, but I, I, I did think, I, I thought of gummo watching this tonight. Yeah. It, it has that kind of kitchen sink feeling. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I felt, that's how I felt in that bedroom. Just, you know, it just, I felt s like um, filmy and <laughs> funky and wet. Like, I felt drippy, you know, in my, my fucking underpants. And it, 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 it was a kind of like a miserable feeling that right. just had to be, I had to submit to it. Um, oh boy, am I glad I did. Yeah, you did uh, it was, Vincent said, you, you're gonna be, this is the part that you're gonna be known for from you. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be, this, this part's gonna make you really, uh, no, I hope not. Well, you can be, like, you can be, uh, I've worked with Kevin a lot, he can be very intimidating just by being quiet and looking at you. And I can't help but think that you did that with Gallo here and there, we just kind of would look at him and not say anything. Um, but I don't know if you're fully aware of, of having access to that as like a tool. <laughs> we never, you know, locked horns at all. He 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 was very sensitive to 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 my needs, you know. Uh, um, he I I I have to say, you know, he was. He was very sensitive to my needs as an actor, and and um, and very very forgiving. Where he could have gone off on me about cutting my hair, like I only, you know, I I I am aghast today to look back on that and like I, I that's that was completely out of line. I should. I agree. Um, and and he said and I and and I was so stupid that I told him exactly what what happened. I said. I went. I had to. I had a couple of days of work on on how Harley. Because don't tell me that you did this for another director. <laughs> tell me, tell me that you did it for a girl. <laughs> don't tell me that you did it for another director. I'm like, it was a girl. It was a, this girl made me cut my hair. He goes, okay, all right. Just just like that, you know. He 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 wanted to like just 
this question here. Oh, I, I just wanted to say, uh, Gallo seems like such an enigma. Um, for, even from these stories, they don't make him seem like less of an enigma, an enigma. They make him seem like more of an enigma in some ways. Um, is there a story about Vincent Gallo that sort of will help us understand this strange man who made this strange film? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I He kind of, I got to say, he's just like the... the from that time, I, first time I met him, in the, in, it was in St. Vincent's Hospital, which doesn't even exist anymore, but um, he was really funny, really, just very, really funny. Uh, and, and when we were working on, 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 on this film, everyone was like really on edge and, and terrified and, of, of him. And, and he, 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 he he came off like you know someone to to be af afraid of, but I I just couldn't see him that way. I just I I thought it was a joke, you know. I thought he was putting it every putting everyone on. I was like I was like he's not really like that. He's funny. He's funny. He's being funny. <laughs> but uh, I I uh, uh, that that was that was that was my relationship with him, not anyone else's. Uh, uh, I didn't realize how. I, I, um, he he was yeah like a performance just like he would we were we were I was telling him once about a. Um, I I had recently uh, worked with Michael Rapport and Lily Taylor and John Ventimiglia on a on a movie called uh, Kicked in the Head and he was. When, well, that one time when we were driving from one location to the other and I rode with him, I was uh, riding shotgun, he was driving, and he, 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 he just started, he goes, so how did you, you know, don't ever, he's like, don't ever direct yourself in a movie. This is, I'm giving the worst performance of, uh, of my whole career in this film because I'm also directing it, so don't ever direct yourself. You know, because did you, didn't you, you di did you direct that movie that you wrote, that kicked in the head movie? Uh, and I, 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 which I hadn't. And he goes, you, you, you told me, didn't you tell me that you wrote that or, or direct, directed the one with Michael Rappaport? You, you mentioned you. You mentioned Michael Rappaport. You mentioned Lily Taylor. You mentioned you with them. <laughs> He's doing like Raging Bull, you know. Right. Uh, and and that uh, that was uh, you know, he talks the, the way. Yeah. We talk about, you know, and reference films uh, that way, and he's just like uh, I can't. I, I'm trying to address no, the, you your question. No, you did a good job. Uh, yes. Well, actually, I've uh, I've heard uh, from uh, there was an interview with Donofrio on the Kevin Paul Chat Show uh, talking about him in uh, Full Metal Jacket and how you know Kubrick, you know, he was such a you know Kubrick. And uh, and I, I kind of get a feeling that Vincent uh, Vincent Gallo kind of saw himself in that kind of role. And actually, you know, most people, you know, everyone, t you know, Charlie Charlie Duvall, how he kind of tortured her, or ter terrorized her. Uh, you know, he this uh, did didn't see that. He saw him as this, this you know this guy who came up in that same, that same kind of neighborhood, you know, in, Bro uh, in Brooklyn. So they had a, a different kind of relationship. So that's kind of how I, you know, from hearing the story, I'm viewing that from you know taking that from that. You, you're talking about D'Onofrio yeah, and Kubrick. Yeah, and Kubrick. Uh, they had like a. I think kind of like you know like you know every you know everyone saw saw Kubrick as you know Kubrick as the guy. Yeah. He was just the guy from the neighborhood. You know, yeah, he was from the Bronx. Know. He was yeah. like you know yeah, yeah. Got, Vincent knew where I was from. Yeah, yeah. He knew what part yeah, of the yeah. Bronx I was from. He goes yeah, I had a girlfriend on from yeah. University Avenue. Yeah, I was walking down the street with her one day, and then uh, another girl that I had been going out with came across the street and stabbed the girl that I was walking with. <laughs> she was jealous. Like on University Ave, that's like by Tallentine. He goes, yeah, 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 right there. But you're from Buff Buffalo. What are you doing on University Avenue in the Bronx? Anyway, he knew. He he kind of just he yeah. knew where I was from, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. we we. Have that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold, you know, yeah. We don't want to hold everyone hostage all night, but uh, he was all, there was the Scorsese connection too, yeah. which I, uh, uh, um, you know, he's he's in Goodfellas. If if you know where and when to look, he's, yeah, he's for in one it. One second. 
It is like one second. Who? I, did anyone else raise their hand in the back? I don't want to neglect. Yes. Um, pretty well. I, 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 the, the, the whole sequence at the end with the yes song, you know, where they, you know, points at Scott and, and the, 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 that, that part of the song gets going. I was like, that's probably why he wanted to make this movie, just so he could sync up that moment with that part of that song. Because it is like, oh, shit, you know, uh, it, I think it holds up well. I mean, just as a, you know, a story about, like, repression and family dysfunction and uh, the need for validation and you know all, all those kinds of universal themes I, I, I think it's a, a, a genuine effort to express all of those universal human things and and he had a, it was, he had a, a you know a very uh, profound vision and he, he realized it in, a, in such a, a vivid uh, impactful way were you aware that he was shooting on reversal or was that something that I didn't, didn't know? I didn't know any of that. I didn't know anything like that did I see a question back then? yeah uh, yeah just, uh, did you have any interaction whatsoever with uh, Jan Michael Vincent uh, who's you know running the, uh, the bowling alley no no he passed away recently I thought he was an underrated actor yeah. Very good in that role. Very good. It's very good. But well, I mean, you sometimes know. it feels like Gallo puts the actors in a situation where they're supposed to improvise, and it's not the most thrilling footage, uh, you know, to me. Like Angelica Houston, sometimes to me, it's like improvising. Yeah, I, 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 I seem to recall that she, even maybe she felt that way too. You know, that she was just kind of. Um, what are we doing? You know, like whatever. She, like she was just like felt like she didn't have uh, a direction or something. I, I don't know. I I, I I seem to recall that she was a little. Um, yeah, he you know he got under people's skin. You know, you know for for better or f or f or for worse. He was. You know, I I, I remember Ben Gazzara coming into the. He sat right in front of me at the Museum of Modern Art to watch the film there. Um, and right before he sat down, he was just like, oh, hey, he, he had seen the movie already, I guess? Because he, he, or, um, because uh, he told me, he goes, you, you were very good in the film. <laughs> I mean that. <laughs> and then um, when, uh, when Vincent got up to the podium to, to introduce the film, he he thanked he thanked um, his his doctor. His doctor was in the audience. <laughs> doctor of what? I I, I I I think it might have been his 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 uh, therapist or psychiatrist. Uh, and um, he thanked Ben Gazzara, and then he thanked me, and he, he said, uh, you know, I, I also want to thank this guy. He, he, I like him a lot. He doesn't like me, but I want to thank Kevin Corrigan and, and, uh, uh, and say Bob Fangul to his agent at the uh, CAA. Uh, <laughs> And and Gazzara turned around to me and he goes, hey, "He's a real pain in the ass." Did you really? Say, you, you, you don't you don't like him, or he's a pain in the ass, isn't he? I was like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I, yeah. he's, uh... But yeah, I got the sense from Ben that you know Ben had you know. It's funny, you know, he worked with Cassavetti, so then he's working with Vincent Gallo. So who's this guy think he is, John Cassavetti? I work with John Cassavetti. You know John Cassavetti. <laughs> I don't know Sometimes, how. Sometimes, yeah, Gazzara's making that face at the table. He's like, "What am I doing?" You know? Yeah. He's like, "I work with John Cassavetti." Like they, they just deep drop. Right. They 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 were like you know we 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 came through the '60s and the '70s right, and right. you know like they uh, they didn't want to give him a chance. Uh, but it works for the character too. Do, any other questions? I don't want to. Um, 
We might be winding down because people are too polite to leave. <laughs> um, but uh, Kevin, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all of you for coming out.